welcome to a new episode by Flyboys Aviation. This episode is about the sad case of Iran Air. Their incredible development was cut short almost 40 years ago with the Iranian Revolution. They experienced a brief rebound when sanctions were lifted in 2016. With the presidency of Agent Orange, this lifting was reversed and they are back to square one. What does the future hold for Iran Air? Let's take a look at this together. Iran Air's direct predecessor, Iranian Airways, was founded in 1944. Like so many post-war airlines, they started out with the Douglas DC-3. They flew regional routes as well as some routes to Europe, starting flights to Paris in 1947. In 1962, Iranian Airways merged with Persian Air Services to form Iran Air. In the 60s and 70s, Iran Air acquired a fleet of Boeing short and long-range aircraft. In 1972, they even ordered the Concorde. Iran Air, just as almost all other airlines, came to their senses and cancelled the order later on. Together with Pan Am, they made a request to Boeing for an aircraft model that could fly from the Middle East to New York directly. Boeing responded with the 747 SP. Although this aircraft fell out of the ugly tree and in every possible branch, it had an incredible range for its day and age. With their tear around to New York flight, Iran Air even had the longest flight in the world for a short time. In the late 70s, Iran Air was the fastest growing and one of the safest airlines in the world. There were further plans for routes to Australia as well, thereby using Tehran as a midway point between East and West. Had things continued this way, Iran Air could have taken on the role Emirates has now. Then, everything went to hell in 1979. The Iranian Revolution caused economic sanctions that effectively made it impossible for Iran Air to order Western aircraft. This has resulted in Iran Air operating aircraft for a much longer time than other airlines. A ban on parts of the Iran Air fleet in Europe and the refusal of some suppliers to refuel Iran Air aircraft in the early 2010s further worsened their position. However, in 2016, no drama Obama lifted the sanctions on civil aviation in Iran. Iran Air was extremely happy with this kind gesture and, like a kid in a candy store, went on a shopping spree that would rival Emirates. They ordered 118 aircraft at Airbus, 20 aircraft at ATR and 80 aircraft at Boeing. They were even bold enough to order the A380, but cancelled it later. A few new ATR and Airbus aircraft were delivered, but the tweeter-in-chief reintroduced the sanctions. Boeing has said they won't be able to deliver anymore, and it looks like Airbus and ATR are going in the same direction. It is sad that an airline that wants to improve their product so badly keeps being thwarted by politics. But they have managed to survive during the last 40 years, and I am certain they will continue to fly their aircraft in the coming decades. What do you guys think? Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. On my channel, you will find a new video every week that delves deeper into the fascinating world of aviation and offers you new insights. See you around.